the Bahamas. Turquoise water so clear you can see your toes at depths that would make Jacques Cousteau jealous. White sand beaches that stretch on longer than a hangover after a night with Hunter S. Thompson. And the people? Warm, welcoming, with smiles as bright as the sun that seems to shine 365 days a year. Forget your passport. You don't need a document to enter this paradise. You need an attitude. An attitude ready to embrace the laid-back vibe, the infectious music, the kind of food that makes you want to slap your mama, in a good way, of course. The Bahamas is about letting go. It's about trading in the frantic pace of life for the gentle rhythm of the islands. It's about discovering that the best things in life really are free. A sunrise painting the sky in a kaleidoscope of colors. A school of fish flitting through a coral reef. Get ready to experience the Bahamas. And don't forget to like and subscribe to Platinum Passport for more adventures. The Bahamas is more than just a pretty face. Sure, the beaches are stunning, the water is crystal clear, but it's the people that give this place its soul. A unique blend of African, European, and Caribbean influences, Bahamian culture is a vibrant tapestry woven with music, dance, storytelling, and a whole lot of heart. Walk down the street in Nassau, and you'll be greeted with a chorus of good mornings and welcome to the Bahamas. The warmth is genuine. These folks know how to make you feel like family, even if you just stepped off the plane. Music is the lifeblood of the Bahamas. From the soulful rhythms of rake and scrape to the infectious energy of Junkanoo, music is woven into the very fabric of Bahamian life. And then there's the food. Conch salad so fresh it'll make you want to slap your mama, again, in a good way. Spicy jerk chicken that'll set your taste buds on fire. If there's one thing you gotta experience in the Bahamas, it's Junkanoo. Imagine this. It's Christmas morning, the sun's barely up, and the streets are already pulsing with energy. Costumed dancers, thousands of them, move to the beat of goatskin drums, cowbells, horns, and whistles in a riot of color and sound. This ain't your grandma's Christmas parade, folks. Junkanoo is a celebration of freedom, a tradition with roots deep in Bahamian history. It's a time for communities to come together, to let loose, to dance like nobody's watching, even though everyone is. The costumes, man, the costumes. Months in the making, they're works of art. Each group has its own theme, its own story to tell, and they tell it through music, dance, and a whole lot of soul. Junkanoo is more than just a festival, it's a way of life, a spirit that infects the entire nation. Forget your Michelin stars, your fancy tasting menus, your molecular gastronomy. In the Bahamas, the best food is the kind that sticks to your ribs and warms your soul. It's the kind of food that's been passed down through generations, made with love, and seasoned with a healthy dose of island spice. Let's start with the conch, shall we? This ain't no ordinary snail, folks. This is the king of Bahamian cuisine. Eaten cracked, fried, steamed, or raw, it's the taste of the islands. Try the conch salad, a refreshing mix of diced conch, tomatoes, onions, and peppers, all marinated in lime juice. It'll wake up your taste buds faster than a shot of espresso. For something a little heartier, there's always the classic Bahamian fish fry. And for dessert? Guava duff, baby! This spongy sweet treat is made with guava fruit and boiled in a cloth, hence the name duff. Nassau, the capital of the Bahamas, is a city that explodes with life. Pastel-colored colonial buildings line the streets, their balconies overflowing with bougainvillea. The air is thick with the scent of salt air, spices, and something sweet that I can't quite put my finger on. But it smells like paradise. Start your day at the straw market, a labyrinth of stalls selling everything from hand-woven baskets and hats to wood carvings and conch shell jewelry. Haggle with the vendors, practice your patois, and don't be afraid to walk away with a souvenir or two. No trip to Nassau is complete without a visit to the Queen's Staircase. Carved out of solid limestone by slaves in the 18th century, this 66-step staircase is a testament to Bahamian resilience and a reminder of the island's complex history. While Nassau might be the beating heart of the Bahamas, the real adventure lies beyond the capital, in the Out Islands. Each island has its own unique character, its own rhythm, its own story to tell. 
From the pink sand beaches of Eleuthera to the fishing villages of Andros, the Out Islands offer a glimpse into the soul of the Bahamas. Head to Exuma Cay's Land and Sea Park, an underwater paradise teeming with marine life. Swim with nurse sharks at Compass Cay, dive with stingrays at Stocking Island, or simply relax on a deserted beach and soak up the sun. For a taste of the slow life, visit Cat Island, the birthplace of Bahamian music. Pig Island, yeah, you heard that right. This ain't no hallucination from a bad batch of rum punch. This is a real place, folks, and it's just as wild as it sounds. Located in the Exuma Cays, Pig Island, also known as Big Major K, is home to a colony of feral pigs who love nothing more than to swim in the turquoise waters and bask in the sun. Nobody really knows how the pigs got there, but rumors abound. Some say they were shipwrecked sailors who survived on the island and left behind their porcine companions. Others claim that the pigs were brought there as a tourist attraction. Whatever the reason, these swimming pigs have become a Bahamian legend. Take a boat trip to Pig Island and prepare to be amazed. Let's be honest, folks. One of the main reasons you come to the Bahamas is for the beaches, and who can blame you? With over 700 islands and cays, the Bahamas is home to some of the most stunning stretches of sand and sea in the world. On the island of Harbor Island, you'll find Pink Sands Beach, a three-mile stretch of coastline famous for its rosy-hued sand. The pink color comes from microscopic coral insects called foraminifera, which have a reddish-pink shell. It's like something out of a dream, walking barefoot on sand that shimmers like pink diamonds. For a more secluded experience, head to Treasure Cay Beach on Abaco Island. Consistently ranked as one of the most beautiful beaches in the world, Treasure Cay boasts powdery white sand, crystal clear water, and a laid-back vibe that's perfect for escaping the crowds. The beauty of the Bahamas isn't just skin deep, folks. Beneath those turquoise waters lies a whole other world, just waiting to be explored. The Bahamas is a diver's paradise, with coral reefs teeming with marine life, shipwrecks shrouded in mystery, and underwater caves that will take your breath away. Head to Andros Barrier Reef, the third largest barrier reef in the world, and immerse yourself in a kaleidoscope of color. Swim alongside schools of colorful fish, encounter graceful stingrays, and marvel at the intricate formations of the coral. For a truly unforgettable experience, dive the Andros Blue Holes, underwater sinkholes that plunge hundreds of feet into the darkness. The Bahamas is more than just a destination. It's a state of mind. It's about slowing down, embracing the simple pleasures, and finding your own rhythm. It's about waking up to the sound of the waves crashing on the shore, spending your days exploring hidden coves and swimming in crystal clear waters, and your nights dining on fresh seafood under a canopy of stars. Rent a sailboat and explore the Exuma Cays, hopping from island to island, dropping anchor wherever your heart desires. Spend your days snorkeling, fishing, or simply lounging on deck, soaking up the sun and the salty air. Learn to play dominoes with the locals, their laughter echoing through the warm evening air. Listen to the stories of old fishermen, their tales as captivating as the sea itself. So there you have it, folks, the Bahamas, a place where the water is bluer, the sand is whiter, and the smiles are wider. A place where the music gets under your skin, the food warms your soul, and the people make you feel like family. I've seen a lot of the world in my time, tasted a lot of different flavors, heard a lot of different stories, but there's something special about the Bahamas. Maybe it's the laid back vibe, the infectious energy, the way time seems to slow down the moment you step foot on these islands. Whatever it is, the Bahamas has a way of getting under your skin and staying with you long after you've left. Don't forget to like and subscribe to Platinum Passport for more amazing travel adventures.